It's a historic site. We're in one of the, the oldest neighborhoods in San Francisco. This particular site is has a lot of interest around San Francisco in that there's supposedly a ship down there that dates back to the, the gold rush 1840s. The ship that came into this dock was called the Arkansas, and it ended its journey here. So essentially, underneath this foundation system, we are interested in seeing if we find any remnants of it. I don't think there's any gold, but you never know what they could have brought over in terms of silver and some dishes. It would be great to find anything, actually. The mystery is, are they going to find the ship? Is the ship there? It's, it's, it's still a mystery. As architects, we were very fascinated with the idea of potentially finding some remnant of the ship, the Arkansas, basically a, a one-directional trip. The Arkansas it came in through the gate and it hit Alcatraz and actually uh, punctured it. And it was towed in right here to the site. And this used to be the old coastline. In 1848, it ended its journey here. They gutted out part of the hull of the, of the ship and turned it into a very casual uh, sailor's bar. It was sunk, it was just left here, it became landfill, and then the old ship saloon, which we're sitting in today, was built in 1849. Well, they want to know why it's the old ship saloon and uh, is there any remnants of the ship? And of course we say, the SS Arkansas is buried underneath us. For yeah, we think it's there, we hope it's there. We've been hired by Grosvenor Americas to do archaeological mitigation on the 240 Pacific site. Developers are, have a responsibility to preserve the past while they're building the future. Deep below the earth, that's where the secrets lie. So get on a ladder, climb down 5 feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, and below sea level, I was running out of hope that we'd actually find the Arkansas. We had trenched 13 trenches 12 feet to 16 feet deep. We had done 28 cores down to bedrock, and we still hadn't found any sign of the Arkansas. It's uh, probably the lower portion of the ship. How big is the piece down there? 16 feet long. The ribs would have gone up like this. So what we have here is a, it's a piece of a sheathing metal. It's affixed to both sides of this board right here, and it was and it protected the wood from rot or from insect damage. So now we're just cleaning it off and trying to trying to get a clearer picture of what we have exactly. So Tom, what uh, what have we found here? We found an assortment of all these bottles, gold panning. Shoes. We have a pulley here. This this might have been from the actual ship. This is a great story for San Francisco. This dates back to the start of San Francisco, which is which is a great thing. Grosvenor as, as itself is a, is a 350 year old company and is steeped in in history. We're preserving not only the ship, but we're preserving the character of the neighborhood. We are definitely working with history, looking at the individual buildings, the character, how they've been transformed, and we try to incorporate that into the building that we're doing here. You know, we're building on something that's been around for 150 years, and we want to make sure that it's done right and done properly. Kind of cool, actually. Just knowing that uh, you have all these abandoned ships all over the neighborhood. Yeah, I think it is important to uh, see if uh, our history is below us. So. And it is, yeah. <laughs>